These are both peonies. Peonies are excellent flowers to show you the different reproductive structures of a flower. Now, both of these are peonies, though they look different from one another. And as we've learned, there is a lot of variation within a single species. Peonies are actually very cool flowers because in China, they actually eat the petals as part of a dessert or in salads. The main pollinators for peonies are wasps and flies, and they actually attract ants while they're budding and the ants aid in the blooming of the flower. These are the peonies at my mother-in-law's house. And as you can see, there are ants crawling around the peony buds and they are aiding in the blooming of the flower. So first we're going to flip over the flower. And if you look here, you can see the sepals. So these are the sepals which cover the reproductive structures until the flower is ready to bloom and the reproductive structures are mature. Here are the petals, so we're going to remove the petals so that we can get to the other reproductive structures. This is the receptacle down here, which is where the flower attaches to the stem. Okay. So I'll take the petals, put them off to the side. So if we look, remember we had talked about how the male reproductive structures surround the female reproductive structures, which you can see in the middle here. So the male reproductive structure is called a stamen. So this entire piece here is a stamen. This section is the filament, and this is the anther. So on the anther, that is where all of the pollen is produced. Now what's very nice, okay, what's very nice about peonies is that they have these really, really big pistils right in the middle. You see the pistils? So I'm going to remove one of the pistols carefully. All right, so this this is our pistol here. So this top portion is sticky. Right, so we say that's the sticky stigma and the pollen lands on the stigma and then the sperm will travel down through the style, which is right here, to the ovary at the bottom. So now the ovary is what turns into a fruit once the flower is matured and that the eggs are pollinated. All right, so I've zoomed in a little bit closer and I am going to cut the pistol in half. Let's see what's inside. All right, so here you have a nice clear view of the ovules, which are right there. So here are the ovules that are inside of the ovary. So these ovules, they turn into the seeds of the plant if they are fertilized by the pollen, the sperm within the pollen. So I took the ovary that we had cut in half and I placed it underneath the stereo microscope. So this is what the ovules look like up close and personal here. Okay. So 
so if you look right here these are the ovules these circles here so now if we zoom in back into focus and there we go so the ovules are what turn into the seed that is found within the fruit so if these become fertilized with the sperm they turn into seeds and the seeds then grow into a new peony plant we are currently looking at the anthers that are part of the stamen, and down here are the filaments that are part of the stamen. Right, we can zoom in. Right, and here is a close up look at the anthers where the pollen is located. My baby Thor, he's getting so big, isn't he? So today's assignment, you are going to have to find a flower. You can ideally find a flower outside to dissect. If you are unable to find a flower outside, then you may use a image off of the internet and you're going to dissect it and either take a picture and label three of the parts with their functions or you can draw it and label three parts with their functions. And I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. This assignment will be due on Friday. Thor, say hi. Say I miss all of you. <laughs> Signing off, have a great one.